This tech tip shows you how to create structured lists in materials module to understand the quantities of dirt and materials by project phase. This helps you optimize your project workflow. All right, so let's go to materials. So here's the next tip is do your materials first. Okay, so maybe the first thing I want to do is, is create a materials list for my paving. Uh, if someone else is doing it, so I can have my, uh, I'm going to organize it by classes. Uh, but I, what I want to show you here today is, is really something called structure lists. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and clear my structure lists and I'll explain it what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and start creating the paving area in here. So I'm going to create a paving area. I'm going to add concrete, asphalt, any other materials with their thicknesses calculated in the units that I, I need to purchase the material. Okay, um, as you start doing more and more takeoffs, really what you want to be doing is build, uh, build you a, a structure list, okay, or a database of materials and structures. So, if, for instance, let me go to my structure list. I have a list if I'm working on DOT projects. I have a list if I'm working here in the city of Atlanta, where I live, uh, in Fulton County, okay? Or I have a subdivision list here, so let's go ahead and import the list. And here are all the structures all the paving areas that I'm going to be, I'm going to be using paving 26. In this case, it's very specific so that all you got to do is pick it, do it. Okay. And the cool thing is everyone in the company is using the same names and the same materials and everything. Um, it gets a little bit easier to understand everyone's uh, pro uh, reports. Okay. So in this case, I'm have uh, there's my AC, AB, thicknesses in feet, and I'm calculating everything in tons. Let's go ahead and press OK go to the entry mode. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn the snap in, enable on. You can see, Matt, I have a little circle around my mouse. If you don't have a circle around your mouse, go to options. Uh, you're going to go to snap size, draw snap circle. Because I like the circle because I can go in and snap, just double click in the line and it grabs the line for me. And I tell it where I want to go next. I want to go to this point next. So it follows me. Double snap. So now snapping becomes really easy. Single snap, double snap. So you can see, single snap, double snap, single snap. Okay, so I'm not going to be doing the whole thing. I'll just leave it like that. But uh, make sure you know how to use the double, the single snap and double snap. Okay, I'm going to do the same thing for the islands, right? Add a paving 26 inside of, so an area inside of an area in materials, the ducts, the islands. Double snap, double snap, double snap. Go back to the edit mode, calculate your materials, export to Excel using the new export to Excel tool, and you're ready to go.